The Saints paid their respects to the man who coached them to their only premiership. Plenty of motivation to do something to bolster their finals hopes against the high-flying Eagles. West Coast were chasing their sixth straight win, but it was St Kilda landing the opening two majors. Now Clark needs to go for it from 45. And the crowd goes high. A frenetic start at Etihad Stadium and late inclusion, Justin Kozitski was able to find space. And he drives it through. When Cozzy struck again, the Saints were out to a 23-point lead. Shanks that a little, but it feeds its way back with perfection. West Coast were eyeing off a spot in the top four, but they were being smashed. With some space to use, they've got another. St Kilda reeling off six unanswered goals to take a shock 36-point lead into quarter time. Gamble spins it around the body. That was all part of the plan. Ryan Gamble epitomises the resurgent Saints and he kicked off the second term. Magnificent. It was nine minutes in before West Coast broke the duck. Not long enough, almost. Get even. The momentum swung, some young Eagles inspiring the comeback. Getting back, Gaff runs in, open goal. Three in a row. St Kilda halted the run through Mill. To Fisher from 50, keeps it low. Mill, goal. Against the flow. West Coast had the final say for the quarter, edging to within 26 points at half time. That changed quickly after the break as Gaff continued to shine. He's been inspirational so far in this game. And he's kicked the goal. That might start the fire. The Eagles were charging and Nick Natanui was proving hard to stop. He blazed a trail through the middle of Etihad Stadium. A big run ended in another big goal for the visitors. Saints led by 43 and now lead by 13. The Saints were brave. Nick Revolt threw everything into it, but they were one man down when James Gwilt was forced off with a knee injury. So they'll miss him. David Armitage gets his chance. West Coast's tall timber was doing the damage. Kennedy goes up. Josh Kennedy making no mistake. That is gorgeous. Straight over the umpire's hat. When Quentin Lynch converted, a huge turnaround was complete. From 43 points down, the West Coast Eagles, for the first time tonight, hit the front. St Kilda went scoreless for the term and were down by two points at the final break. Milne finally broke the drought. He keeps it low and gives them back momentum. The reply was emphatic. Nat Nui, something we've oh, never, no ever, ever seen before. He is a godsend. It was a thriller, the sides going goal for goal. Schofield. Off hands, Dempster kicks a goal, Saints back in front. Pressure packed and West Coast cracked, a horror turnover and Lee Montagna stayed calm. And he threads it. Big game player, kicks the goal on cue. Soon after, the Saints looked home. Montagna to peak, maybe for the sealer, dances around and nails it. St Kilda posting their third straight win and on the cusp of the top eight after an upset 21-point victory, winning 13-4-82 to 9-7-61. Yeah, look, through the first quarter, we came you know, really out of the focus to, to play hard and, and crack in, and we did that, and to Eagles credit, they're great. They're a really good footy side, you know, and um, we knew they'd come back, and we lost our way a bit, got a bit disorganised there in those second and third quarters, but to the boys' credit, the digging like we did in the last quarter was terrific. Brett Clancy, Big Pond Sport.